Lizzie Birdbrains here and today we are talking about compositing. So what we're going to do today is create offset lighting on your character. Now offset lighting is very cool because it allows you to create some lights and shadows on your character without having to draw anything. So if I wanted to light up my character, I would use a highlight and tone node because I'm lazy. And uh, we will also need a apply page transformation. Now of course instead of highlight and tone, you can also use the blending nodes with cutters to get the look that you want that is similar to Photoshop and etc. But for today, we're gonna make it quick and we're gonna use the highlight and tone. All right, so if you want to light up your character, one thing you could do is get a drawing layer and draw your highlights. Here, and I would like draw my highlights with uh, whatever color that I wanna use. So these could be my highlights. And then I would take a color node and uh, cut this highlight <laughs> uh, with my character. And then I could use a glow node to like somehow um, light up my uh, character with it. So even now, this is starting to take a lot of time to do and it's not very efficient because now you'll have to do it on all your frames one frame at a time doing your shadows and especially in series we don't have time to do that so let's do something else so like I said instead of using all these little things we're gonna just take a apply pack transformation put it here go get your character connect it to it and then put a peg and what we'll do is offset this instance of the character just a little bit so by doing that, you'll get a little space in between where the character is and where the new one is. And this little space here is what we will use to light up our character. All right, so I'm gonna go get my highlight, connect it here, and then I'll take the transform drawing and connect it to my highlight. And if I go into my render view, you'll see that the shape I put on my character, so like itself, <laughs> is creating light on my character. If I invert it, now what will create light is the space that I talked about earlier. There we go. So now we have a very nice rim around our character and it took like five seconds to do. And the great thing is that since I'm using the drawing itself to shade it, if I get my drawing and I modify it, oops, if I take the drawing and I modify it, the lighting will follow because of the apply patch transformation. So if I wanted to do that for the tone, uh, you'd have to be careful and uh, connect the tone under the highlight. Like it, it won't work if you have them showing on top of each other. You have to make them connect to one another. So if I wanted to get my shadows done, I would just copy paste my apply patch transformation. But be careful, do not copy paste the peg. Because if you do, they're gonna share the same functions and they're gonna be clones of themselves and it's gonna break everything. So copy paste your apply peg transformation and just create a new peg for it. What we'll do with this one is take your character and connect it here, just like you did with the top one. It's exactly the same. And then instead of having this part showing up, we're gonna to toss it on the other side and now the area that is under, this will be used to uh, feed the tone node. All right, so let me go into my render view. So now my whole shape is shading my character. I will invert it to have my highlights on top and my shadows on the bottom. So the way that you personalize the highlight and the tone is totally up to you. Uh, you can make it very sharp or very smooth. Uh, this is not a video about the highlights and tone nodes, uh, so just do what you want. I just wanted to show you this very powerful technique uh, involving the apply peg transformation, some pegs and some nodes right there. So I hope that you like this and that it will be useful for all your production. Oh, and if you are curious, this scene was 100% lighted by apply peg transformation node. I used it on the background, I used it on the character, I also used it on the seaweed here to get some uh, little shade in there. Of course they're blurry, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, it's very, very powerful and I hope that it will be useful for you in your productions. And with that, I wish you a very nice week and we'll see you each other again next week. Bye bye!